Well, spring's finally getting here to northern Michigan. Uh, we've had some weather in the 50s, like low 50s a couple of times. Uh, today it's 25, uh, it's supposed to get up to 32. Uh, but the ice is finally melting off this beach. This is the first time I've gotten on this year. I drove by here uh, earlier, like a week ago, and there was uh, still ice floating in the lake. So this is the first chance I've actually gotten to get on this beach. Pretty excited to be here. Uh, hopefully there's some good rocks that have been pushed up by the ice over the winter. Stone. It's a little bit on the other side. It's pretty good. Back side isn't great. I should probably take that with me, but I'm not going to. Leave it right there. Find a better one. spotted a pudding stone. I don't think it's a very good one, but we'll take a look. Yeah, nothing on the back. Not too bad on that side, but I can do better. Another pudding stone. Not really small little piece of jasper in there. Oops. Kinda pretty though. stone. There's quartz in there though, not much jasper. There's a Batoski stone. A little tiny Golganda tillite. Here's a pudding stone I'll take home. Tumbler sized guy, it's a nice one. There's another Petoskey stone. That might be worth picking up, let's see. Yeah, that looks like one of the hard types. Sometimes they get, I don't know, too much silica in them or something and they, they just don't polish up very well. Nice little Petoskey stone. That's a keeper. Tosky stone hiding down here. Oh, that's no good. Go up the other side, but no. Not a keeper. There's a little horn coral. I don't usually pick up the horn coral once in a while.
nice. I like the really white lines like that. Notice a pudding stone here, and a very good one. It actually, this caught my eye. It's like a piece of unikite. It's actually a pretty nice piece. Really nice piece. I don't think I need any of this right now. If you saw my unikite nepidote video, kind of up to my ears in this stuff. But that's a nice one. Maybe somebody else will pick it up. Just turned the camera off and spotted a pudding stone out here that's coming home with me. You can tell already. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a really nice one. Love those. Lots of jasper. Pretty. I don't know what do I do with it, so I'll leave it here. But I like it. It's a pudding stone hiding underneath the ice. Might be frozen in. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Not a good one. Nothing much there. That's cool. That's going in the tumbler for sure. I don't know what that is. That's awesome. A nice one. Big pudding stone out here. Doesn't look like it's very good, but worth kicking over. Better than I thought it was. That side's nice. That side's not. So we just have a little bit right through there that's pretty good. But that's too big for my saw. So I'm going to leave it behind. Plus it looks kind of heavy. Putting stone. Big chunks of jasper in that one. Nice. Big pudding stone. Little piece of jasper in it. Move it. And a 
of cool. A little big though. piece of unikite. Don't need more unikite, but that's a nice one. If I was collecting this today, I'd be taking that one home. Not a bad pudding stone, but it's not a great pudding stone. I could fit that one in a tumbler, but yeah, I think I'll be optimistic and think I'll get a better one. Bye bye. Big piece of driftwood here. Pretty cool. My father-in-law carves fish and he looks for stuff like that to mount them on, so I might bring that home for him. I'll grab on the way back. There's a Petoskey stone. not actually that rough there's just these big rollers coming in they're just here on this point it'd be better once I get up that way a little bit more I don't see them rolling in there a whole bunch of cool rocks right in this one area first there's this green thing I have no idea what that is whoops That's pretty cool. Might take that one home and cut it up, see what it looks like. And then what else did I see? Oh, there's this pink one that I won't bring home. Just pink quartz with kind of a brown stripe through it. And then there's this one. That's kind of cool. I do with that but it might be gogandatillite but it doesn't have any of the reds that it usually has in it. Usually there's red uh, granite in there. Uh, and then there was something else I saw over here. What else did I see? Oh there was a pudding stone somewhere. Where'd the pudding stone go? It was rolling around in the waves here. I don't see it anymore. It wasn't a very good pudding stone anyhow. This one's kind of cool. Yeah, maybe not as cool as I thought. Oh, there's the pudding stone. Right here. Not a good one. Oh, almost got me. Just kick this one in from deeper water. It's like a Christmas rock. Whoa. Kinda cool. Just found this big fossil here. And usually this stuff's called platypora. But usually that looks more like this. 
like smaller little branches. These are great big things. Might be Favocytes. I'm not really sure. Cool, whatever it is. Done very well on Toskies today, but I just found a nice one, I think. Yeah, it's a keeper. Back look like. Yeah, not very good in the back, but front's pretty good. Coming up is the most exciting part of my day and the most disappointing part of editing when I realized that I accidentally had my camera in hyperlapse mode. So I slowed it down to about 5%. I mean, just look at a bunch of still images here. Uh, but imagine me being very excited as I picked up this piece of banded iron formation or jaspalite. And uh, I usually find this just up in the UP in Lake Superior, and I've never found a piece this nice anywhere. So I was very surprised to find it here. And then there's also a piece of ice that I found that was formed over some rocks. That's really cool. Just found the pudding stone I've been holding out for. I haven't picked it up yet, but it looks amazing. That's a good one. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's awesome. I think I might bring that one home. <laughs> Oh, That's why I come here. I think it's time to turn around. Got one more little pile of rocks to look at here. You don't see too much. And it's mostly sand from here on out. Here's a big Petoskey stone. Not any good, but it's big. Pretty much no pattern on it, and it's got the brown spots all over the spot place. Back's kind of cool looking. Thanks for coming along with me today. Uh, this was a great day on the beach. These two rocks are by far my favorite, so they made the whole trip worthwhile. Uh, but this scenery really makes it worthwhile also. So just a nice day all around. If you like this video, would you mind hitting that thumbs up button underneath it? Uh, that really helps my channel out a lot, and I appreciate it when people do that. Thanks. See you next time.